going to take you through the life of Peter, a very simple, hard-working and God-fearing man. Peter lived in a nearby town close to Birmingham. Now let's get a sneak peek into Peter's life. Peter starts his day with prayer. Lord, I thank you for this wonderful day. Jesus, you have given me all the blessings that I need, but there is one thing that is missing, and you know what I am going to ask you. When are you coming to my house? I want to see you, Jesus, and talk to you. He's now busy reading newspaper. Anna, where's my coffee? I'm still waiting. Meet Peter's wife, Anna. She is always concerned about Peter and her two kids. Here comes your coffee, Peter. Enjoy it. Thank you, dear. Good morning, Rebecca and Joel. Wake up and get ready to school. Blessed day. See you in the evening. It was during the time of Christmas as usual. During his prayer time, he said, Jesus, please come to my house. I want to see you. Immediately, he heard a voice calling. Peter, Peter, I'm coming to your house for Christmas. Thank you, Lord. Peter was very happy and jumped with joy. Immediately, he called his wife and children. My wish is for going to come true. Jesus is coming to our home to meet us. Isn't that exciting? I'm so happy. We have three more days for Christmas and we need to make all the arrangements before that. Let's decorate our house to its best. Dada, Dada, I will take in touch to decorate the house. That's awesome, Joel. Let's make some delicious food for Jesus. John, you are in charge to ensure we have the best food for our Lord. Yes, sir. I will make turkey biryani, chicken roast, plum cake and all that you need. Dada, we need to be dressed in our fine clothes. I'm going shopping for all of us. Peter, let's call your sister Margaret and her family home for Christmas. She will be thrilled with the good news and will get to meet Jesus in person. I agree with you, Rebecca. We need to be dressed the best and Anna, that is perfect surprise for Margaret to, for Christmas. Let's do it. Preparation was ready right from the house, decorate beautifully with all of them, dressed in their finery. And not to forget delicious food. Who's that? Brother, it's me. I'm so happy to see you after so long. Thank you for coming, Margaret. Very excited to spend the Christmas with your family. And waiting, it was evening. Peter and his family seen waiting and suddenly, doorbell rings. Hip, hip, hurry! That is Jesus at the door. I am going to open the door. As Joel opened the door, he see a poor man standing at the door, shivering with cold. Dad, it's an old man asking for clothes. Hey old man, 
Go away. You are wasting our time. We are waiting for Jesus. Go away. Go away. Peter shut the door and the poor old man walks back sadly. Jesus, when are you going to come? I just can't wait to see you. For the second time, the doorbell rang again. This time, it should be Jesus. Red Joel, I will open the door. I guess I deserve to see Jesus first. When Peter opened the door, it was a poor lady with a little baby. Again, it's a disappointment. What do you want, lady? So, my baby is very hungry. Can you please give some milk so that I can feed her? Lady, not now. We are waiting for a special guest to come and we cannot waste time in feeding you and your baby. walks away crying and Peter walks inside. Peter, when will Jesus come? It's already late now. I guess he will not come. Anna, please don't say that my God will keep his commitment. I know he will surely come. For the third time, the bell rang. Peter jumps out of his chair and runs to the door. As he opens the door. Who are you? Sir, I have been traveling to Bangalore and it came dark at night. I'm not able to find a place to stay nearby. Can you please let me stay at your house for a night? Is that my problem? If it gets dark, if it's late, if you have a nearby place to stay, please go away. Peter shut the door and walked back. Sad. Jesus, why didn't you come? Dada, why did Jesus not come? Suddenly Jesus called, Peter, Peter. My Lord, we were waiting for you. Where are you? Peter, I came to meet you. When did you come, Lord? We have been at home all day waiting for you. Come and see the house decorated. Isn't it beautifully all done by Joe? Some new clothes for you too. And Lord, and finally you will enjoy the delicious food with us. Peter, I came to your house three times and you did not help me. Lord, when did you come? We have been waiting all day. Now Peter's family were all wondering and did not understand what Jesus was saying. I came like a beggar asking for clothes to cover my body and you did not clothe me. I came like a woman with a baby asking for milk and you did not feed our hunger. I came like a stranger asking for a place to rest for the night and you did not provide shelter. Oh Jesus, if I would have known it was you, I would have clothed you, fed, feed you and provided shelter. I am sorry Lord, please forgive me. Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did for me.